What's going on guys? My name is Kazo, long time no see, or uh, long time no talk, because you guys can't see me right now. I'm pointing at my screen, but you can't even see that. What's going on guys? Um, some of you may know me as Tyrandiel the Warrior on US Zulu Head PvP Realm. Um, some of you probably don't even know me at all. Uh, this is going to be a leveling series for my new rogue I just made, Ackerfeld. Hopefully you guys catch that reference. If you do, props to you. If not, look at my other videos. You may get a clue from them. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a leveling series on my rogue. Uh, for one, in all my time playing uh, World of Warcraft, my music seems a bit loud actually. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, in all my time playing World of Warcraft, I think I've only gotten a rogue to maybe level 30 maximum. So um, the other classes I, I know pretty pretty in depth. Um, I've maxed a Death Knight. I mained a Death Knight in Wrath. I mained a Warrior in Vanilla. Um, I've gotten a Hunter to max level. Obviously, I don't have them on this server. Um, this is a newer account for me. Um, I'll just go through him real quick here. Uh, this is my main right now, Tyrandiel. He's a protection warrior. Uh, right now you can see him there in Grievous gear. Uh, it's all 522 PvP gear because I don't really PvP that much. Um, but I do like to have some fun with uh, TBT, doing some PvP and uh, some honor farming with them. Uh, I've got Gannick, my shaman, who is a resto shaman currently. Uh, I am such a noob to resto in anything be it shaman or druid that i may switch back to uh elemental with him um i mean he's got all the gear for for a caster so i may switch back to elemental with him um he's sitting at about level 24 right now i've got hedean my hunter um who's beast mastery at the moment um i do plan on leveling him to max level um probably sometime soon uh hunters are a fun class to play and i like going back and soloing and farming old content with them just because of the pet class and uh, it helps getting achievements for some of the uh, some of the older achievements you need you need to have a pet to uh, actually do them the right way I've got Rorschach which is my Pandaren priest uh, right now is shadow only level 12 um, playing around with shadow I haven't really played a priest that much like I said, I did main a warrior uh, back in vanilla, and that's been my go-to class the entire time I've been playing as a warrior. I've got Fuzzy Feet, which is my druid. Um, he's right now resto, uh, very low level, obviously. Um, I do want to get into the healing classes. That's one thing I haven't done as well is heal. Um, I've main tanked. I've off tanked. I've done everything tanking wise. Healers, I really haven't touched since vanilla. I just haven't touched them. There's no real reason why I haven't. They're, I just haven't touched them. Uh, Mavalkan is my warlock, who's got a good bit of heirlooms going on here. Um, I think I may level him as destruction. Not sure. I know it's very powerful higher levels. Um, we, we will see on that. I've got Gromit, which is my mage. Um, right now is Frost. I may switch him to Fire as he gets higher level. I know Fire is really powerful. I've got Nostariel, which is my Death Knight. Brand new Death Knight, actually. Um, the reason I made her is for farming mats for my all my alts for their professions. Um, unfortunately, with the uh, changes coming up in Warlords of Draenor, I don't even know if I'm going to max out all of their professions or not. Um, just the way the professions are looking is, yeah, I don't know if I like it or not yet, but we will see. Time will tell. When Warlords comes out, I'll definitely mess around with it somewhat and see how that goes. Uh, and then I've got my bank character down there. But this is Ackerfeld, my rogue, and let's get right into it, guys. Go ahead and enter world. Need coffee. All right, here we are in Cold Ridge Valley. As you can see, I'm planted right by my mailbox for this reason right here. I've gone ahead and sent myself some Netherweave bags, my three leather heirlooms, or my two leather heirlooms. 
and I've got 50 other gold. So I've got a, uh, a max of 100 gold right now. I've got my four netherweave bags, so we don't have to stop and sell a bunch of stuff every five minutes going through the leveling zones. I will go ahead and equip my leather heirloom head, uh, helm and cape. And I've got my Dread Pirate Ring, which is my prized heirloom that not many people have. Uh, you need to either place first, for, I think it's first or second, in the um, Stranglethorn Vale Fishing Tournament. And uh, believe it or not, my first go at that tournament on this account, and I got it, which was impressive. I did come in second, I didn't come in first, but it was good enough to get that Dread Pirate Ring. And um, that's a really nice ring, not many people have that heirloom, and it does up my experience as well. So we'll go ahead down here. Um, I suppose real quick, I will go over my uh, da, da, always show go over my key bindings. Um, basically, what I've got is I've got um, my A and D keys not turned. They're uh, bound to strafe. I'd mouse turn with my with my characters on all my all my characters are, are set up like this. Um, basically, the keybinds are the same account-wide, but I've got, um, as you can see, all my key bindings are right around uh, my movement keys, be it a modified with a shift key or an alt or something like that. Um, and down here, I've got one, two, three, four, and then it stops at four because that's really, I mean, I could go to five, but four is really where my finger wants to stop on the keyboard. So I stop it there, then I've got a couple shift modifiers. Q and E are not obviously bound to strafe anymore since I moved those. So those are my main two skills right there, uh, along with my mouse button, which is what I've got my Sinister Strike on right now. I've got another mouse button down here, and G and T. Basically, they're all around my movement keys, easily accessible. This is a huge advantage if you guys do not keybind. I highly recommend doing so. Um, I mean, you... you you don't have to stop and, and, and look for what you're clicking on. It's all muscle memory at this point, uh, for me anyway. And if you get used to it, it will be for you as well. Um, unfortunately, I just that was habit right there. I grabbed the quest without even reading it. Um, we are going to kind of get into the lore in this Let's Play. Um, why? Because why not? I mean, it'll make it more interesting. Um, just, I don't know, more interesting. Uh, give us something to do instead of just going out and killing things and running back and killing things and running back and collecting things. Um, we can get into the lore a little bit. So, we've got our first quest here, hold the line. Description, hey you there, you're a stout looking rogue, lend us a hand? It looks like today's big earthquake shook out a bunch of those barbarous trogs out of the ground, and they're sure steamed about something. My men are doing what they can to hold them off, but we could use a hand. Do your part, head just south of here, and help me dig mountaineers out of trouble. Help dig me mountaineers out of trouble, we've got to hold the line. And our reward is either uh, leather cloth or mail. I've, I'll obviously take the leather. Uh, so let's get right into this. Uh, my add-ons that I'm using right now, guys, pretty simple. I've got Omen, uh, which is a threat meter. I suppose I can turn my action bars off now. Uh, interface, always show off. I've got Omen threat meter running. I've got recount. Um, I've got auctioneer on my bank alt. I've got Atlas loot. Um, other than that, I really don't have much. I've got range display up here. Uh, it just shows me what range the, the what I'm targeting is at. Um, and that goes all the way out to you can't even target them at 60 to 80. So we'll go ahead and start killing these rock jaw trucks. See if we can find some more over here. There's number three. It has been so long since I've played a rogue, it's kind of ridiculous. So I will be relearning this class as there have been major changes since the last time I played one. How are you? I don't know. How are you? 
killing stuff. For you guys. Best be thankful. Or you could just turn your back on me too, that works. Alright, let's go head up back to uh, Joran Ironstock here. Turn in this quest. Joran OP. There's one shot in Trogs. For Iron Forge, indeed. Alright, level two. And our next quest is give him what for. Alright, Ackerfelt, listen up. I know a thing or two about Trogs, and one of those things is that the biggest, strongest Trogs get the most respect. The brutes value strength over anything else. You see those big great trog great big trogs sitting back behind the front lines? They're the closest they have to what you'd call a leader. Go take out a few and show them what it means to mess with the Sons of Iron Forge. Our quest objective is to kill three Rockjaw goons, and there's our rewards right there. Again, male leather and cloth and armor. And we've also got a quest here from Sten Stout Arm, Aid for the Wounded. Ackerfelt, listen, unlike Joran, I have no need for your blade, but I do need someone with a steady hand and a bit of courage. Our mountaineers are trained to protect the village from the odd wolf attack, not an all-out trog invasion. Many of our best have succumbed to wounds and exhaustion, and I need your help bandaging them up. Here, take my first aid kit and assist as many as you can. And we need to use his first aid kit on four wounded mountaineers. And the wounded ones are easy to find because they've got low health. What a surprise. Uh, most of them are laying, like leaning on the ground as well. Um, let me just put that to something easy to get to. There's one. There's two right here. There's three. And here's four. Great to meet you as well. Alright, here's these rock jaw goons we need to kill. Here's one of them. Ouch. Been playing my warrior for too long. I just tried to charge back at him right there. Come, come back, come back. Fine, I'll attack you. Why you break our home? I didn't break your home. Blame it on Celestalon. I mean Deathwing. Yeah, Celestalon would work too. Celestalon, Celestalon. Ouchie. So some of you might be saying, why'd you pick a dwarf? Uh, for one, dwarf master race, indeed. I am a huge fan of the dwarves in this game, uh, the lore behind them, the way they look, their, their, their animations, everything about them, I love them. Um, not like that, don't get carried away there, guys. Uh, yeah, I love everything dwarf in this game. And um, for the new expansion coming up, all I need to say is... Uh, Stone form is being changed to Might of the Mountain. If you guys haven't heard of it or haven't seen what it's going to be, I recommend you go look it up because it's un it seems unbelievably powerful. And I say seems because obviously I haven't tested it out yet. I am unfortunately not in the beta for Warlords. Um, but it seems unbelievably powerful. And I'm, I'm doing the doing the not reading the quest thing again. Um, so we got that one from uh, Joran again. He said, we appreciate your help out there. Get rid of this. We appreciate your help out there, but there may be a place where they need you even more. Do the trog attacks, not to mention that massive earthquake. Massive. Massive. Massive earthquake we just had. We're putting all civilians on lockdown inside Anvilmar, just up to the hills to the northwest. Go and talk to me, wife Jonah, inside Anvilmar. I'm certain she's in need of able-bodied of an able-bodied man such as yourself. And here's Jonah right here. So we'll talk to her. Ah, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy in here? Go and bother someone else. I haven't the time. Wait, what? That's you, you say? Joran sent you to help? Well, why didn't you say so? I did, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Okay, first things first, we're gonna need some beer. 
I don't know how anyone expects to get any work done around here if we don't have any AO. Our beer level here in Anvil Mar is dangerously low. Lucky for us, we've stowed some backup kegs for just such an occasion. West of Anvil Mar, along the valley's northern border, you'll find kegs of Stormhammer Stout and Theramore Pale Ale. Just to the east of here, you'll find a stash of Gnomen Brow. That's me personal favorite. And our objective there is to obtain one of each of those casks, or kegs, casks. Where did I get casks from? Ackerfeld, this rune was given to me to pass on to you. Take some time to read it when you have a chance. I'm thinking it came from the rogue trainer, Psalm. Take a gander at it and go find him inside Amplemar. We need to read our encrypted rune and go talk to Psalm, which is over there. So we will read our rune real quick. Brother, I hope this rune finds you well. I wanted to take a moment to let you know that I am inside Anvilmar above Cold Ridge Valley. I know how important it is that we all stick together, and in this time of strained peace, it is becoming even more important to have our kind around. Look for me when you have the time. I have the time right now, Sorin. Sorm? Sorin? Psalm? You I'm going to butcher attention. names throughout this entire Let's Play, guys. Just a forewarning. <clears throat> Okay. Um, Be good. What's can I do that mind? again? You made it great. We've got an influx of c of activity lately, so I'm glad to count another of the Ironforge clan among our numbers. Nothing like cold blade in your hand and a shadow to help keep you one step ahead. And if you're here, you know exactly what I mean. Anyway, as you start peeking around Cold Ridge, you'll probably have need of training at some point. You just come back to me whenever you feel you need it, and I'll teach you what I know. A trick here, a maneuver there, you know, the stuff that keeps you alive and making a little extra coin. Eviscerating the enemy. When you get to be more experienced, you'll start to find you can take advantage of new abilities. One of the things that you'll learn is the ability to use combat maneuvers to weaken an opponent and then hit them with a devastating technique. Go and get some experience, figure out how to do it, and then try it out on some of the dummies here. Reach level 3 to learn Eviscerate, and then use Eviscerate three times on the training dummies near the entrance to Anvilmar. So we'll go ahead and accept that quest. We'll be level 3 in no time whatsoever. We'll go ahead and talk to uh, Grundle. <laughs> oh god, the names. Dwarven Artifacts. Ackerfeld, my boy, are you into archaeology? We've had an exciting opportunity right outside our front door. All the shaking from today's seismic event has knocked a number of artifacts loose from the soil around our encampment. Survey along the valley's northern border and you should find all sorts of treasures. Bring some back to me and per perhaps we can study them together. Right then, off you go. Need to obtain What's five that? dwarven artifacts. What's on your mind? And I'm going to equip my gloves and my wrist armor. And we're gonna head out and complete these three new quests. I'm stuck on stuff already. Here is the keg of Nomen Brow. And why can I not see? I've got all my settings turned way down just to uh, help out with my bandicam because it tends to eat a lot of memory when I'm filming stuff. There's one right there. Forgotten Dwarven Artifact. Oh, they don't even. Oh, well, they sparkle a little bit. Not much, though. That's one out of five. I think for the last four, we'll just. Oh, here's one here. Turn up our music a little bit. Now I need three more of those forgotten artifacts. And there's a huge keg of Stormhammer Stout. Ginormous. It's almost twice the size that I am tall. For a dwarf, that's huge. Uh, well, dwarves and drinking, probably not big enough. 
two more dwarven artifacts. If we run into anything over here, we'll kill along the way. Like this boar. Dead boar. Oh, there's our last Orban artifact. That item is being used by me. Of course it's being used. I'm trying to pick it up. Ooh, big crits. Alright, you now generate combo points with Sinister, sinister Strike, which you can use for more powerful fitting sh blah, 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 blah. Let's try that again. You now generate combo points with Sinister Strike, which you can use for more powerful finishing moves such as Eviscerate. And Eviscerate was what we needed to learn here. And it is a finishing move that causes damage per combo point. 1 point causes 48 to 68 damage, 2 points 85 to 105 damage, 3 points 123 to 143 damage, 4 points 160 to 180 damage, and 5 points 197 to 217 damage. We will go ahead and grab that cask of... See, I knew one of them was a cask of uh, Theramore Pale Ale. We will head back towards... I almost said our keep. Head back towards um, Anvilmar there. Spending too much time in, in uh, Isla Conquest lately. The gates are down. Head back to the keep. Alright, here's these training dummies here. So, we'll go ahead and build up some combo points. You can see them building uh, around my target's frame here. that and I really only need one combo point there we go there's two come over here and there's three sheath my weapons I said sheath my weapons there we go and we'll talk to Jonah first the ale, darling, the ale. Yes, I have the ale. She drinks deeply from the Gnomon Brow. Ah, that hits the spot. Now we can get some work done around here. All the other stuff. If we're going to be on lockdown for any extended period of time, we're going to need some food and some blankets to keep the wee ones warm. Would you mind heading outside and gathering up some supplies? You'll find that a few of the small boars actually have some healthy sized haunches, good for eating. We'll also need some pelts from the young wolves. You'll find animals almost anywhere you go in Coldridge. Obtain three boar haunches and four ragged wolf hides. You got my attention. Talk to Grendel again. Wonderful, look at this one. It must be over 200 years old. Now on to other matters. The Trog village to the southwest suffered similar damage to ours. One would assume logically that there would be some Trog artifacts sticking out of the ground too. Unfortunately, it looks like most of the artifacts have already been scooped up by Trog scavengers. Please go see if you can find some way to get them back. Believe it or not, knowledge about Trogs may eventually lead to a further knowledge about the mighty dwarves. Obtain five priceless rock jaw artifacts from scavengers. Up with you. Here they are. And we're going to talk to Solm again. You get the hang of it. Go get some practice out there. Maybe take a few of those out. Wow, maybe take out a few of those trogs or trolls or rabbits. I don't care. Good. All right. Let's uh, see what we go. We got a couple of no. things of junk to sell. I know I wouldn't. <laughs> I know I said I wouldn't uh, be selling stuff every five minutes, but uh, you know how that goes. Two to five, forty-eight, three to seven, three to six, and two to five. So we're gonna buy two short swords. We're gonna replace our dagger and mace that we've got here and we're gonna go ahead and oops equip two short swords close our inventory back up Boar 
war number one. We've got one boar hunch. And these are the guys we need to attack for the priceless rock jaw artifacts. One shot. So did he. I've already got five, all right. Kill some boars and stuff over here. This quest, since probably back in vanilla, has been just so drawn out because there's it's not a hundred percent drop chance so this is probably the longest quest that you will do leveling in uh in colder's valley not quite sure what the drop chance on is on this stuff but it's low i'll tell you that much of course now that i say that i'll get the rest of them Four. Ta da. How'd I know that was going to happen? That's funny. RNG gods heard my my gripe and they uh they came to my aid. I need I need a boar. I need I need a boar, there's a boar. Come on, drop a haunch. Yay! Alright. Return to Jorna and Grundle in uh, Anvilmar. I almost said Iron Forge. I'm all over the place this one. Plenty need more coffee. It is 7 o'clock in the morning, and I have not gotten up early. Enough said. Alright, did you manage to pry any artifacts from the Trogs? I did. Well, would you look at this, an axe blade, a couple of arrowheads, and what appears to be some sort of rudimentary spoon. This is indeed fascinating. Thanks again for your help, Ackerfeld. I have much studying to keep myself occupied while Joran's got us under lockdown. We've got... A leather jacket. Winter jacket. Here's Jonah. The people are getting restless. Do you have the supplies yet? I do. This will have to do for now. We've got a lot of people to feed here, but we've got to make two. We've got to make do with what we've got. With any luck, King Bronzebeard and Iron Forge will send us some help shortly. You've done us a great service here, but I'm afraid we got to send you off elsewhere. Relin Whitebeard, a good friend of mine, has put in word that he may need some reinforcements near the troll camps to the southwest. Follow the road westward. You should find him soon enough. Be well, Ackerfeld. Trogs may be a pain, but trolls are a whole other type of trouble. Report to Grelin Whitebeard's camp in Cold Ridge Valley. Off we go. Go ahead and equip our winter jacket. Ta da! And 
that's the road right there that we should follow, but I'm just kind of taking a shortcut right now. What is going on with my lag here? I'm going to turn this back down. See if that helps. A little bit. Alright, White Beard's encampment. Here we are. And here's Grelin himself. What a surprise, he's actually got a white beard. Welcome, Rogue. Are you ready to get to work? The troll menace. The trolls are acting up more than usual, I'd say. We've seen them put together war parties before, but this time it's different. What matters most, however, is the continued protection of Anvilmar. I have no intention to let these trolls flank Anvilmar while its attention is turned towards Trogs. Go thin their ranks a bit. They need to know what that we're still not without defenses. Need to kill ten Frostmane troll whelps. And we get to choose from an assortment of weapons. A refugee's quandary. I was on my way to join my fellow, fellow gnomes at Nomergon, but then it all went so horribly wrong. I left Anvilmar bags packed and wading through waist-deep snow. Then we had this ridiculous earthquake and I got all turned around. I ended up here and what's worse, the, trugs, the trolls stole all my stuff. Ackerfeld, I've obviously proven myself to be quite incompetent over the last day and a half. Would you mind infiltrating the troll camp southwest of here and returning my stuff to me? We need to obtain his box, his chest, and his bucket of bolts. Hi. Trolling for information. I'm notoriously bad at le reading troll facial expressions. That being said, these trolls don't look angry to me. They seem to be confused, maybe a little frightened. Something happened that we're not seeing here, Ackerfeld. I say we do some investigation before we just kill every troll in sight. There are three troll camps in the area. One to the southeast, one to the southwest, and one due south, one due west. Each camp has a soothsayer. See if you can get close enough to listen to what they're saying. Stand near a Frostmane soothsayer in each of the Frostmane camps and listen to what they have to say. And there's a camp that way. There's a camp that way. Where is it that? There's a camp that way. There's a camp that way. There's a camp that way. So we will hit this one first because it's the furthest one out. Here, we'll start killing these guys. Here's Felix's box. One of the soothsayers scouted. I knew I heard somebody else. You dead. These trolls are so small. Why are they so small? I'm in your tent killing your troll whelps. Felix's chest. I need one of these guys left to kill, so we'll go ahead and kill him. And 
there's the last suicide we need to scout. As I jump my way over there. I'll kill these guys for the fun of it. We've got Felix's bucket of bolts as well. And that is the last soothsayer we need, so we'll head back to Grillin's camp, which is right over here. God, that coffee is so good. I've got one of those Keurig machines with the, uh, the little coffee cups that you put in it, the K-cups or whatever. And this one is like Mountain Blueberry. It's What's just amazingness in a cup. Ah! <laughs> All right. Hmm. Interesting. From what you're saying, it sounds like a fire and elemental might have snuck in from Searing Gorge, or the earthquake opened up a crack to the elemental plane. Either way, this is bad news. You should probably report this information to Grelin. Off with you. Considering he's right there, I think I may. Hi, Felix Windelbolt, a refugee's quandary finished. Once I get my tools, I'm out of here. Huzzah! You found them. Get ready, woman of Normagon. Here comes Felix. Now which road takes me out of here? Oh, goodness. Gnomes. Ding level 5. How are you? And we've got our stealth ability. Alright, the trolls are acting strangely. The troll menace. Hopefully that did the trick. Anvilmar will be saved from the trolls for the time being. Now to find out what it is that has the trolls so agitated. We're gonna see... We've got 48 on each of our hand. with 260 speed so that's upping our DPS by 0.3 it's really not that much but uh we'll grab it anyway we also get three healing herbs all right ice and fire Soren did well to send you out on recon and that's some good information you have right there trouble is this just adds more work for us to do the trolls confused as they are right now would still like to kick the dwarves right out of cold ridge and I'm certainly not going to let some fiery demon turn our snowy valley into a mountain lake. The troll leader, his servants, and the fire creatures should all be in the cave to the southwest, southeast. Take them all out. Kill Grichnir the Cold, ten of his servants, and the wayward fire elemental. Be good. We will do just that as soon as I go ahead and put my stealth on my action bar so I can hit it like that. Oh, oh, look at me go. You can't see me. You can't see me now, can you? You can't see me. Okay, now you can see me. Oh, oh, oh no. I seem to have, have forgotten that my action bar changes when I hit stealth. There we go. I was stuck in stealth for a moment, and that was a scary, scary situation. Alright. Frostmane Blade, these are Grignir's servants. We're gonna start killing them. Here we go. You will die. And you will die. And you will die. If you guys take a look at my minimap here, there's two X's on that minimap. As you can see, they're even labeled. Those are the two guys we need to kill. One of them's the Wayward Fire Elemental, which is yelling something in, uh, 
Calimag? What kind of language is Calimag? Must be some sort of weird elemental language. I don't think I've ever paid attention to that before. You know what I did just notice that I haven't done yet? Let's fix this window. There we go. Stealth? Oh, what happened? Oh, I was poisoned. Stealth doesn't reduce your movement speed anymore. This is how long it's been since I played a rogue. Go ahead and sneak up behind you. You're dead. Come here, Gricknir. Can't see me. You can't see me. You can't see me. You can't see me. You're dying. Gricknir is no more. He said the same thing, except one time he yelled it. Brought to you by Captain Obvious. Alright. Back into Cold Ridge Valley and back to Grell and Whitebeard's camp. I'm glad you've returned safely, Ackerfeld. While it may not look like it now, you've proven to be a tremendous asset in the protection of Anvilmar. Here, take this as a symbol of my gratitude. We've got a leather wrist piece that ups our armor by four. A trip to Ironforge. The presence of a fire elemental here in Coldwidge is no small matter. That earthquake did more than just upset a bunch of trogs, it changed the world enough to tear a gash into the elemental plane. We should submit a report to Ironforge. You wouldn't be willing to take a trip, would you? Don't worry, I have a feeling that you'll ju do just fine. Talk to Hans Springsprocket by the tunnel on the eastern edge of the valley, he'll point you in the right direction. See you soon. Well, I'm gonna just do a quick play it here, okay. Um, considering this has gone over a half hour, I was going to try and keep these uh, episodes to about a half hour long. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut here, and when we come back, we will be on our way to Ironforge. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out, and there will be more videos coming. Until next time, guys, take care.